Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about solving a system of equations uh, by elimination. So if you are working on IXL U10, let's get started. So this method basically is about getting rid of one of the variables and then finding the value of the other variable first. So if I need to decide which variable to get rid of over here, I would try to find a number of x that are the same. For example, in the first equation we have negative 1x, in the second equation we have negative 1x. That probably tells me that I might want to get rid of those two. Also looking at the other variable, y, in the first equation it is negative 2y, in the second one negative 3y. Numbers are not the same. So when the numbers are the same it is easier to get rid of them and also if the signs are opposite it's even easier if the signs are opposite the numbers are the same that's the way to go but in here we have negative 1x negative 1x the signs are not opposite they need to be opposite so what we can do we can pick one of these equations and multiply everything by negative 1 so let's just multiply the first one by negative 1 and I'll write it up here. Let's rewrite the equations after multiplying the first one by negative 1. The first x turns into positive 1x, and then that turns into positive 2y because negative times negative is positive equals 10 times negative 1 is negative 10. This is my new equation for the first one. The second one is the same. I'm not multiplying it by anything. So this is what we have. Now that I have 1x and negative 1x, if I just add these two equations side by side, let's see what happens. If I just add them side by side, if I just do this, x minus 1x, they are gone. Now I don't need to deal with x. All I have as a variable is y. That's why the method is called this, uh, the method of elimination. Now let's just bring down everything else positive 2y minus 3y is negative 1y. Negative 10 plus 19 is positive 9. So if negative y is positive 9, what we can do, we can divide everything by negative 1 to find the value of y. So y equals 9 over negative 1 is negative 9. So that's my second number, because when we solve a system of equations, the y is the second number, so that's negative 9. Now the first number, how do we find the x? We have the y, we can just take this and then plug it in, in one of the equations, it doesn't matter which one it is. All these equations are going to work perfectly fine, all we have to do is just plug it in. So take this put it in here for example so x plus 2 times y is negative 9 equals negative 10 now I have to solve this equation so 2 times negative 9 is negative 18 I just write it underneath drop down the x drop the equal sign and negative 10 now we have two like terms on the same side on the sides so what we can do we can add 18 on each side to get the x by itself. So x now is going to be negative 10 plus 18 is positive 8. So we have the x and y, that would be our answer. That's the system of e e elimination. Now let's jump one level and see what we are going to deal with. Okay, so this one here says solve using system, using elimination. Looking at the number we have four, we gotta check the variables. 4x and 1x, 4x and 3x, the signs are the same, the numbers are different. Positive 1y, negative 3y. The numbers are different, but at least the signs are opposite. That's easier to cancel out. 
I like those kind of equations. So now, this is what I want to cancel out. Oops. Here's what I want to cancel out. I just want to get rid of these two. Okay? But the way to do it is they must have the same number of y's. Like two uh, positive 2y, negative 2y. Positive 5y, negative 5y. Positive 10y, negative 10y. So that when I add them side by side, they cancel each other out. So in the second equation, I have negative 2 as my constant, uh, as the coefficient. In the first one, it is positive 1. So if I multiply the whole thing by positive 2, then I'll have 2y positive in the first equation. So let's just do it. 2 times 4 is 8x. 2 times positive 1 is positive 1y. My bad. Positive 2y. And then 2 times negative 18 on the other side is negative 38. Okay? That's the new equation now. So the second equation is 3x. Oops. 3x minus 2y equals negative 17. Now, if I just add these two side by side, I hope that you can see that the y's are going to cancel each other out because I have positive 2 minus 2, they are gone. Now, combine the x's together, combine the numbers together. 8 plus 3, again, we are adding them together. 8 plus 3 is 11x. That's my left side. Drop the equal and add these two numbers together on the right side. Now, let me just clarify why we are doing this again. In the beginning, if you look at what we had, we have two equations, two variables. Now, we ended up with one thing, 11x equals 55, just one variable, one equation. So if we just divide everything by 11 to get the x by itself, x would be equal to 5. So x is my first number, that's right here. So I can take this, plug it in, in any of the equations, doesn't matter which one it is. So I usually uh, use the equation that has the smallest numbers, because then I don't need to deal with like big numbers to multiply or things like that. So looking at these, I just want to plug it in over here. Okay, 3 times x, I'm rewriting that equation, 3 times x, right? Now that I know the x equals 5, we just figured it out over here minus 2y equals negative 17. I rewrote my whole equation by plugging in 5 for x. 3 times 5 is 15 minus 2y equals negative 17. Remember we are solving this for y this time. So I'm gonna get this by itself, oops, I'm gonna get this term by itself. That's my first step. To get that by itself I need to get rid of that positive 15. Subtract it from both sides. Drop down everything. Negative 2y equals negative 32. Get the y by itself. That's multiplication over there. Divide everything by negative 2. So y equals negative 16. No, positive 16 because we have negative 32 divided by negative 2. So that would be positive 16. When we divide two negatives, we end up with a positive. So that number would be 16. Okay. Now let's jump ahead and see what type of questions we have in the next level. 74 points. Let's clear the board up. Okay. Now, looking at the numbers we have, x is, we have 4x and negative 5x. The signs are opposite. Good sign y's negative 2y positive 4y opposite sides so different numbers so which one of them do you think would be easier to kind of like uh, make equal to each other for 4 and 5 I need to multiply the first equation by 5 let's say we want to get rid of x okay I just want to show you this let's say we want to get rid of x in that case I will multiply this by 5 that would become 20x and then I would multiply this guy over here by 4. That would become negative 20x. And then if I add them together, like this right here, uh, if I add those together, positive 20 and negative 20, I would cross them out. But this, for this, I need to multiply both of the equations by numbers. It's too much work. 
you don't need to unless you really need to. So let's see if we can just deal with one of the equations. So if I just multiply the first equation by 2, what I will have is I'll do 2 times 4, which is 8x, and then I will do 2 times negative 2, which is negative 4y. Write down the rest of the equation, and then write the second equation, negative 5x plus 4y equals 9. You see, I have negative 4y, positive 4y. If I just add them side by side, it's easier. So let's just do it. Add them side by side. These are gone. So 8 minus 5 is 3x. Drop the equal. Negative 18 plus 9 is negative 9. Divide by 3. We are trying to get the x by itself this time. Negative 3. Now that we know what, what the value of one of them, we can plug it in in one of the equations. doesn't matter which one it is. So let's just use this right here because that looks those numbers are smaller. Okay, rewriting the whole equation. Okay, negative 5 times x. That's my x now. Negative 3 plus 4y equals 9. That doesn't look like 4. Okay, let's... Negative 3 plus 4 y equals 9. Got it. So, if I multiply negative 5 by negative 3, I get 15. And then plus 4y, oops, positive 15 plus, are you serious? Come on. Plus 4y equals 9. Like terms are in orange. One, is them, one of them is on the left. The other one is on the right. So I'm trying to solve it for y. Get rid of 15. It is positive. We should subtract it. So 4y equals negative 6. Let me double check. Hmm. Interesting. We are, are we dealing with fractions now? So y equals negative 3 halves, or negative 1.2. OK. Now, this looks interesting. I want to double check my work. Uh, 15 plus 4y equals 9. Subtract 15. OK, it looks right. Uh, but still, I want to double check this. Uh, here is how you can do that. In case you want to double check your work, if you see something weird, then you can always double check the work. Let's do it. So what I will do, I will pick one of the equations and then plug in my numbers. So 4x, 4 times x is negative 3. I'm rewriting the first equation by plugging these numbers in. Minus 2 times y, and I figure the y is negative 1.5. And let's see if this equals to negative 18. I don't think it will be. So the first one is negative 12. The second one is positive 3. The answer is negative 9. It is not negative 18. That means I did something wrong. Now, this is a great example because it is okay to make mistakes. Now we need to figure out what the problem is. Okay, I see what the problem is now. So, okay. Do you realize that I multiplied everything? You remember that I multiplied everything by 2 in the first equation? How about this? I forgot to do this. 2 times negative 18 should be the right side, but I put only 18, negative 18. So we need to fix that problem over here. So it equals to negative 36. 2 times negative 18 is that. So now let's see. 4 y's are canceled out. 3x equals negative 35. Why don't we redo this? Because we are going to end up with fractions. Okay, let's just redo it. So, okay, I'm trying to cancel the y's out. Let's multiply the first equation by 2. 8x minus 4y. I'll make less explanation. That's negative 36. The second equation is negative 5x plus 4y 
equals 9. Oh, I thought that was 1. Okay, I see. I think I copied the equation wrong in my first try because I, I, I saw the 1 in there in, instead of 9. So, now these are gone. Add these together, you have 3x equals negative 27. Divide by 3. Okay, now we are good. x equals negative 9. So if I upload this video to Edpuzzle, I'm going to ask questions about what mistakes I did in the previous step. Let's see how many of you will see that. Okay, x is negative 9. I'm going to plug it in. Uh, let's just pick a color. Boom, this. I'm going to plug it in over here. Let's just rewrite it. Negative 5 times negative 9 plus 4y equals positive 9. Now, this right here is 45 and then plus 4y equals 9. We have like terms on the each side subtract 45 drop down that 4y equals and then that's negative 38 what kind of subtraction am I doing? That's not negative 38. That's negative 36. Okay. Now, divide everything by 4. y equals negative 9. Okay. This looks right. Now, let's test it out. Okay. Yeah. That's going to be right. I just tested it out using the second equation. So, yeah. These are my numbers. Negative 9 and negative 9. Now, let me show you the shortcut. This video is already 17 minute long because of a mistake I did, which I think is a great thing. Now you know that teachers are human beings. We are not just memorizing all of the answers. So they make mistakes too. And that's totally fine. As long as you catch that mistake. Okay, so the equation I have, the first one is 4x minus 2y. Oh, I thought that would just copy and paste it. 4x minus 2y equals negative 18. That's my first equation. Let's just clear everything from the board. I have my first equation. This is the shortcut, by the way, for those who wonder why am I doing this. Negative 5x plus 4y. Negative 5x plus 4y equals 9. Okay, let's find the point of intersection right there. Negative 9, negative 9. And isn't that the same as our previous solution. So that's the shortcut. It takes less than a minute. You just copy and paste it and see if you did it right. But please do the work. I'm not showing you these shortcuts because you can do it. It's because so you can check your work, especially if you get to like 80s. When you get a question wrong on Excel, you lose a lot of points. I don't want you to lose all those points. So use it to double check your work, please. Thanks for watching and I will see you in another video.